As Sven wakes up from a vivid dream of his wife, he realizes with a jolt that he's overslept. Quickly, he nudges his daughter Charlie awake. They communicate through sign language and Sven tells her that they are late as his alarm didn't work. Charlie puts on her hearing aid, which brings the sound of the world to life for her. In a rush, they make their way to the community screening just in time. They join the crowd gathered to watch the astronauts return from space, including Sven's wife, Paula, who is part of the crew. Charlie, with her fascination for space, eagerly watches the broadcast, as her mind buzzes with excitement. As they watch, Charlie notices a delay in deploying the parachutes during the spacecraft's descent. With her knowledge of rocket launches and landings, she feels a sense of unease as she explains that in the fourth stage of landing, parachutes should be open. Meanwhile, we see Paula who seems hesitant to act. Her fellow astronaut asks her to open the parachutes but Paula looks deeply puzzled by something and it seems like she is unable to hear a word he is saying. Everyone watches them fall to the ground and become anxious thinking that something might be wrong. However, eventually, Paula snaps out of it and deploys the parachutes just in time for a safe landing. Once on the ground, Paula and her fellow astronauts struggle to adjust to Earth's gravity. They are met by Benisha Mudhi, an Indian billionaire who funded the mission. Mudhi is a source of inspiration for Charlie, who admires her for her philanthropic work and dreams of making a difference like her someday. That night, Paula calls at home but her voice sounds tense with urgency. She hints at something unusual happening in space but is abruptly cut off when the phone malfunctions. However, before the call ends, she manages to convey a message to Sven about the fox and hare game. Sven gets confused by her statement but Paula does not say much and tells him that she will see him soon. The next day, Sven and Charlie head to the airport to welcome Paula back. At the airport, they meet Reiner, Paula's boss, who promises to discuss space matters with Charlie later. Also waiting for the returning astronauts are Hadi, Paula's co-astronaut, and his family, including his wife Mira and their children. As they wait, a strange old woman smiles and waves at Charlie but everyone decides to ignore her. Then, the boys notice that the flight is delayed. Meanwhile, Sven steps away to use the restroom, where he encounters a distraught Japanese woman who sits on the floor and begins panicking. Sven tries to help her but she doesn't calm down. During this, two other women appear and attend to the woman in distress. When Sven returns, chaos erupts as police swarm the area, informing everyone that contact has been lost with Paula's flight. Sven gets devastated and calls for Charlie. He gets worried when he does not see Mira and the kids. During this, the strange woman from earlier tries to give Sven a handwritten note and tells him that it's for him but Sven does not take it and goes to find Charlie. He soon finds them and Mira informs him that the plane has somehow vanished and there is no contact with the passengers. Families of the passengers are taken aside and provided with rooms for the night. Trying to maintain a sense of hope, Sven consoles Hadi's children, assuring them that their parents will be alright. However, the weight of the situation hits Sven hard, and he breaks down in the restroom, struggling to keep his emotions in check in front of Charlie. In a flashback, we see Sven, Paula, and their friends hanging out together. Sven teases Paula that she always loses to their daughter while playing the board game Fox and Hare despite having such a high IQ. In the present, Sven is hanging out on the balcony, and their neighbor gives him alcohol. Sven says Paula was right about feeling angry, and he knew it. When the lady asks what he is talking about, he apologizes and calls it a night. During a conference called by the authorities, the families are given the grim news that wreckage from the flight has been discovered in the Atlantic Sea, suggesting that there were no survivors. Meanwhile, in a flashback, Paula and Hadi are shown bonding with their fellow astronauts. It is revealed that Paula had arranged for a radio connection so she could communicate with Charlie while she was in space. In the present, Sven finds himself facing questions from the federal police. They inquire about his cryptic statement regarding Paula being right, which was reported by his neighbor in the hotel. Feeling frustrated and distrustful of the authorities, Sven angrily leaves the building. Leaving the hotel with Charlie, Sven encounters another setback when his credit card is declined at the parking lot. However, Nora, Mudhi's assistant, comes to their aid and offers assistance. She also presents Charlie with a box from Mudhi, containing a quote about death being a new beginning. Sven translates it to reassure Charlie that everything will be fine. Upon returning home, Sven is greeted by the preparations they had made to welcome Paula back, which he now sadly tidies up. Then, he listens to a voicemail left by Paula before she boarded the plane, in which she suggests celebrating their 10th anniversary on St. Nicholas Day, the day they supposedly met. Sven gets curious, and calls Mira, Hadi's wife, to inquire if Hadi sounded strange before the flight. Mira explains that he was likely just adjusting to being back from space and advises Sven to cherish hearing Paula's voice one last time. However, Sven finds it odd that Paula mentioned meeting on St. Nicholas Day, as they actually met on a different day. After this, while watching a TV clip of the alleged live telecast of the astronauts' return, Sven notices a 90-minute delay, raising suspicions. He contacts Reiner, but doesn't receive much assistance. In a flashback, Paula speaks to Charlie through a radio connection about how space smells, but the communication abruptly ends. The following morning, Sven wakes up to the distressing news about the missing passengers, observing Charlie watching the news with concern. Charlie is devastated when Sven suggests that Paula might not have survived. Shortly after, some visitors arrive at Sven's house, bearing news from the air traffic control. They play a recording for Sven, 
in which Paula's voice is heard expressing her love for him. Sven is visibly moved by the message. One of the visitors questions Sven about Paula's presence in the plane's cockpit, leaving Sven puzzled and concerned. Then we see Paula hearing a voice saying hello over the radio, but it's not Charlie's. As Paula hears the distant greeting, she quickly notes down the coordinates on her arm, eager to investigate further. She attempts to establish communication, but the signal abruptly ceases. Rushing to find Hadi, she shares the discovery with him, sparking a debate about whether they should disclose it to the other astronauts, knowing it could lead to government intervention. Despite their efforts to locate the signal again, they come up empty-handed. Back at home, Sven finds himself in conversation with the police. Meanwhile, Charlie catches a snippet of Paula's voice and becomes frantic, but Sven manages to reassure her. The arrival of Charlie's grandparents brings some comfort to her, but their peace is short-lived when the police inquire about Paula's whereabouts. The federal police conduct a thorough search of the house, suspecting Paula's involvement in the passenger's disappearance. In a flashback, we see Paula who urges Sven to make a critical decision and destroy certain documents. During this, Paula notices a bug crawling on her hand and decides to take a break. The following day, she gathers the other astronauts and attempts to play the recording of the signal, only to find that the clip has mysteriously vanished. During this, Hadi steps in to protect Paula, claiming that she was merely playing a prank. However, Paula becomes increasingly distressed, eventually resorting to stabbing the bug, which results in her bleeding. After waking up from her rest, Paula talks to another fellow astronaut Benisha, who offers comfort and advises her to return to her duties. Meanwhile, in a flashback, Paula, Sven, Mira, and Hadi are hanging out together. After this, Paula takes a drug, leading to hallucinations. In the present, Sven tries to explain to Charlie that Paula is no longer alive and that she shouldn't wait to hear her voice on the radio. He talks to Mira, and they realize that Paula lied to Sven about taking the pills. Upon returning home, Sven discovers the hidden pills. Soon after, reporters and family members of the plane crash victims arrive at Sven's doorstep, demanding answers. As tensions escalate, they become aggressive and start throwing stones at the house. Sven allows Charlie's grandparents to take her out of the house temporarily, but she returns later, and Sven decides to let her stay. Meanwhile, despite Nora's attempts to calm the situation, the grieving family members become aggressive and attack her. Charlie claims to have spoken to Paula, but Sven reaches his breaking point. In a moment of anger, Charlie expresses a hurtful wish, saying she wishes her father was gone instead of her mother. Despite this, Sven assists Nora and asks her to help Mudhi send the people away. Meanwhile, Reiner calls and is about to reveal something about the situation being a cover-up, but he abruptly ends the call when someone rings the doorbell. Sven decides to take Charlie to Myra's place and heads out to meet Reiner. During the meeting, he discovers a confidential file addressed to him. He gets excited, and he rushes back to Myra's house to share the incredible discovery Paula and Hadi made. However, upon his return, he realizes Charlie is missing, and the man who previously attacked him is in a car nearby. In a flashback, Paula catches Hadi altering the tapes, confirming that her earlier recording wasn't a hallucination. After understanding the truth, she decides to keep her distance from him. In a tender moment, we witness a flashback of Paula and Sven sharing a romantic moment, reflecting on the vastness of the universe and their place within it. Another flashback shows Paula hurriedly returning to her station and pretending to sleep as Hadi checks on her. Back in the present, the aggressive man drives away from the house, prompting Sven to pursue him, fearing he is Charlie. Soon, Sven catches up to him, and in a desperate confrontation, he beats him badly and they both begin to cry realizing that they have lost loved ones. Meanwhile, we see Charlie who is walking alone somewhere. Sven racks his brain and has a sudden realization of where she might be. As he goes out, he sees the police. Despite encountering the police outside, Sven is determined to share the crucial information he discovered in the confidential file. He tells the lady cop about something approaching the earth but she does not believe him. Meanwhile, Paula tells Benisha about Hadi's suspicious actions and tells her to be careful. Then, we see Charlie who arrives at her destination but someone grabs her. Then, Paula engages in a conversation with Sven, seeking more insights into the board game. Utilizing his advice, she outsmots Hadi, gaining an advantage. Suddenly, as the alarm blares, signaling danger, the other three astronauts rush to the safe area, but Paula, donning an oxygen mask, ventures out to locate the mysterious signal. Despite sensing the signal drawing nearer, Paula pretends to ignore the alarm sound allowing her fellow astronauts to attend to her while secretly pursuing her own agenda. Meanwhile, Sven leads the police officer to a spot, seeking assistance, and then releases her. However, he unknowingly triggers a landmine while heading to another location. During this, a mysterious woman intervenes, rescuing him and bringing him inside. Once inside, Sven is reunited with Charlie, and they share apologies. Meanwhile, Paula converses with Benisha once more, receiving counsel that she must rely solely on herself and keep the information confidential. Benisha warns Paula against disclosing anything publicly, emphasizing that no nation is prepared for what is coming. In present, the mysterious woman removes a tracking device from Sven's car and cleverly attaches it to a pigeon, ensuring they cannot be traced. She shares that she, along with Paula, 
has been picking up the signal for three months, belonging to a covert radio network. As the pigeon returns, the woman guides them to a bunker. However, Sven and Charlie decide to depart, realizing that Paula intends for them to disclose the information to the public. After this, the cockpit and airplane audio recordings are made public, revealing Paula's voice, and proving she wasn't responsible for the crash. Concerned for Sven's safety, the policewoman tries to contact him but fails. Eventually, the military locates Sven and Charlie and brings them to a secure area. There, Sven reunites with Reiner, who explains the imminent threat posed by the approaching alien spacecraft. No nation is ready for this, prompting the military to plan its destruction to prevent any country from acquiring alien technology. Meanwhile, while working at her station, Paula finds herself locked in by Hadi, who manipulates her into revealing the coordinates. As Paula has no other choice, she complies and reveals the information, including the impending arrival of a mysterious spaceship in September. Despite her distress, Hadi releases her, only to be confronted by Paula about the broadcast of her message to the world. Meanwhile, Sven and Charlie witness a disturbance outside, discovering that a peculiar object has landed on Earth, prompting the military to swiftly destroy it. We see Paula and Hadi descending as both of them confront each other. However, Hadi confesses to being a mere pawn, manipulated by higher forces who held his children captive. After this, Paula declares that their ordeal has come to an end. In the present, Sven receives his phone back and is released. He and Charlie are informed that they are carrying a state secret, which is why they are kept hostage temporarily. However, with the destruction of the mysterious object, they are now free to leave. Back at home, Sven carefully tucks Charlie into bed, as his mind still swirling with all that had happened. As he pulls the covers over her, he notices something unusual and finds numbers scribbled on her arm. Frowning, he tries to make sense of them, but they seem random at first glance. Then, he recalls Paula's message and the coordinates she mentioned. With a sudden realization, he rushes to find the notebook where Charlie transcribed her mother's words. Flipping through the pages, he finds the matching numbers. He realizes that these numbers are actually the coordinates. In a flashback, we're transported back to the moment when Paula and Hadi returned from their mission. Benisha warmly greets them, but Paula is eager to know what became of the crucial information she shared. Benisha reveals that the government swiftly decided to destroy it, fearing the consequences. However, Paula begins laughing with relief, as she confesses she purposely held back the precise coordinates. Back in the present, Sven's heart pounds with excitement and anxiety. He realizes the significance of these coordinates as they hold the key to whatever Paula had discovered in space. In the past, Paula asks Benisha for a big favor. She wants Benisha to pretend everything's okay with the authorities but keep a secret. She reveals that the real important coordinates are known only to their family. Now, in the present, the news on TV says nothing alien was found where the military bomb. However, Sven knows they're in trouble. They try to leave, but then they see military trucks coming towards their house. Now, they are caught and there's no way out. During this, Sven's neighbors come to their aid and help them escape, but on the way, a truck causes an accident. Now, out of options, Sven uses the remote Nora had given him to reach out if he needs help. The scene shifts and Sven and Charlie wake up in a beautiful house, which turns out to be Benisha's house. Sven and Charlie feel relieved to find themselves safe in Benisha's house after the accident. As they sit down for a meal, Benisha warmly welcomes them and offers comfort in the midst of their confusion and fear. During their meal, Charlie's curiosity leads her to ask why Paula was chosen for the space mission. Benisha explains that Paula's intelligence and expertise made her a valuable candidate. She elaborates on Paula's remarkable contributions to science and how she was known for her innovative thinking and problem-solving skills. Sven listens intently, absorbing every detail about Paula's achievements. He feels a sense of pride in his wife's accomplishments and is grateful for Benisha's help. As Sven shares the secret of the real locations with Charlie, they both understand the importance of their decision. Charlie chooses to tell Benisha about the truth. In a flashback, Paula's sharp observation during the video recording prompts her to confront Benisha about the true planner behind the events. She asks Benisha if Hadi is just a pawn in the game then who is the queen. Her question reveals that Benisha is behind everything. Now, in the present, Benisha, Nora, Sven, and Charlie find themselves on a helicopter racing towards the places indicated by the real coordinates. Sven switches on his phone and notices numerous missed calls, along with a single message revealing Benisha's involvement in the plane bombing. Realizing his phone is being monitored, he shares the message with Nora, who informs Benisha. Benisha downplays the situation, urging Sven not to upset Charlie. Despite her pleas, Sven confronts Benisha, accusing her of being responsible for the tragedy. Seeking comfort, Sven attempts to bring Charlie closer to him. They arrive at the spot and wait anxiously. Benisha summons Charlie into the circle, but Charlie responds with a sign language gesture meaning I don't care about you. Despite the ticking clock, there's no sign of any spaceship from outer space. Now, Sven finally begins to understand Paula's message. Benisha urges Charlie to step forward and reveal the true coordinates, but Charlie insists she doesn't have them. Threatening to harm Sven, 
Benisha demands the coordinates again, but Charlie tearfully admits she doesn't know them. Sven tells Benisha that she trusted a woman with mental health issues who was experiencing hallucinations, emphasizing that nothing is coming to Earth. Charlie signs, asking if he believes her mother is mentally ill, but Sven redirects, stating they need to outsmart the tricky situation. Benisha instructs Nora to escort everyone else onto the helicopter and orders her bodyguard to eliminate Sven and Charlie. Despite her reluctance, Nora decides to follow up with Benisha's demand. After firing two shots, she hurries to the helicopter. They obey her orders and stay put until they depart. After this, Sven deciphers the code to the coordinates. Three months pass, and they arrive at the designated spot, anticipating something extraordinary. Suddenly, a peculiar object descends from the heavens and it's NASA's Voyager spacecraft. Meanwhile, Benisha and Nora face arrest, and news spread worldwide about Voyager's return to Earth. Ultimately, it is revealed that Paula's plan does not work completely, but she sacrifices herself heroically for a noble cause, just as she always believed.